gig radar. Is it worth it? What's the ROI? And should you use it? My name's Gavin. I run an email and SMS marketing agency, and I've been using gig radar for about a year now. So take this review with a grain of salt because I am an affiliate of the business, but I'm only an affiliate because it's worked super, super well for me. If you want to use the software, that is totally up to you. There is a link to the description. It's my affiliate link. But before you click that, here's my review on the software. I'm going to be explaining everything through a screen share. I'm going to be showing my experience, the revenue I've generated, the amount of work I have to use to actually generate leads from Upwork, and who I think this would be a good fit for, and how to get the most out of the platform. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. Welcome to my Gig Radar account. Now, what you're looking at here is the dashboard interface for those who haven't seen behind the scenes of Gig Radar here. Now, as you can see here, there have been roughly, this is in the last 30 days. I'm actually gonna expand this a little bit uh, to the last 90 days, just to give you a little bit better of a look. So if we go back here, back here, let's go January 6th. To April. This might be a little bit more actually than 90 days, but uh, you get the idea. Roughly uh, 1,280 opportunities. Now I'm in the email and SMS marketing space, so this is how many jobs I've applied for using this. And then obviously we've sent about a thousand proposals. Okay. Now this is our lead reply rate. This is how many people actually reply to my to my job applications, right? Which is 20% for this guy here, because within Upwork, within Gig Radar, you have to have like a project manager who applies for the jobs on your behalf, okay? Which is this guy here, he's just like a dummy account, right? He's powered by the AI, he writes the proposals, sends it, and then he strikes up the conversation, which is something like this, right? Hi, I recently completed a very similar project for an e-commerce website. This is all written by AI, okay? And I can tell you right now, there is no way as a business owner, I would have time to send 1,000 and 34 different applications. I just don't have that time on my hands. It's just ridiculous, right? And to get a reply rate of 21% is pretty insane, okay? Now, as you can see here, the female seems to do a lot better, the female AI, uh, Kari, and I just think that's just like, honestly, I think that's just the way you gotta do it. I think go switching to the, the woman would do a lot better here. And you can see also, uh, the average time between when it was posted and when we when we submit because I want there to be like a 15 minute delay just to make it seem like it's a little bit more human. So I have a 15 minute delay here between when the job is posted and when we apply for it. And that's pretty much on point here. And then overall 21.86% uh, reply rate. So we're starting a lot of conversations, okay? And a bunch of stuff's happening here. Gig Radar has essentially automated this whole process for me. The only thing I do now when it comes to Upwork is I just reply to those who reply to me. So we have this, right? Look, here's another one that we wrote. Hello, I recently completed a very similar project. Can I share a Loom video with some ideas for your project? Boom, we send that over. If they say yes, if they respond, I literally just copy and paste this message here and send it to them and see if they can strike up a conversation. Now let me show you some of my stats here. This is stats and trends. Last seven days, 44 proposals sent. Now unfortunately, my credit card was having some issues, so we weren't applying for as jobs as many as we should have, but if I go last 90 days, it's a little bit better. As you can see here, pretty much on point, right? 1,035 1, proposals sent, 1,034, pretty much identical. 441 reviewed. 226 interviews, 20 hires. So I managed to hire 20 jobs from that. This is all from applying for stuff, right? As you can see, the last 12 months, we've generated roughly $72,000. That is all from using uh, Gig Radar. Like I don't have never applied for jobs manually. I did for like a month and I was like, this is just too tedious. I can't get work this way. So all of this income is coming directly from gig radar, you know, generating leads, generating business from there. And we've had a great success score. I'm telling you right now, there's no way I'd be doing Upwork if it wasn't for gig radar. Because the reality is, if I can create like a customized proposal, right? I'm gonna expand my screen here. If I'm able to create like a customized proposal within 15 minutes of a job going live, right? And it looks customized because it's written by AI, you're not gonna be able to compete with me or other people who are using this, so like using this software at a sustainable and cost-effective way, 
Okay, you can't compete. You're going to have to have somebody on 24/7 or yourself applying for these jobs, making sure they're written out well, and manually doing that. It's just not an option anymore. I don't think if you're going to use Upwork as a platform. Now, I make a lot of money off of Upwork. There's a lot of revenue that happens off of this as well here, but if it wasn't for this software, I wouldn't be using Upwork at all because it's too competitive. It's just far too competitive, especially with apps like this. I mean, it's just not going to be a feasible option if you're manually doing Upwork nowadays. Highly, highly recommend you check out GigRadar. It works really well. There's a link in my description. Note that is an affiliate link. I want to be fully transparent. Um, but as you can see here, the, the numbers kind of speak for themselves really. And uh, we obviously have the agency profile too, which is super useful um, because you have to have an agency and a freelancer profile. And you can see the stats and trends. I think it's under here, your reports. Uh, where are we? Here we go. This is specifically the agency profile as well. Identical picture, really. You know, if I click reload, you're going to see the, the same thing here. Highly recommend checking out GigRadar. It's doubled the revenue for my business on a monthly basis. And if you're in any sort of service industry and you're seeing jobs on Upwork, but you're not having success in getting them, do it. Now, one advice, piece of advice on strategy is when you first start, you need to work for cheaper than what you would normally work for because you have no social proof. And what do I mean by that? If you look at my profile here, my profile is really optimized, okay? We have it fully built out in terms of, you know, really solid, you know, call to action here, really solid bio, clear indication of that, you know, what I do, my approach. We've got a video here as well, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. And there's a video. And this is fully edited, right? So I built this profile up. We have case studies here. Everything is done to the max, but here's the biggest thing that Upwork cares about. They care about this, completed jobs, okay? And when you first start, and this is the same with other customers, you don't have any social proof on your profile, okay? So you need to complete jobs, and unfortunately, it means you need to bite the boat a little bit on the price. When I first started on Upwork, I was working for $15 an hour, and this is when I had an agency that was doing about $40,000 a month in revenue already. So I was making zero money, but the way that I looked at it was that I'd spend the same amount of money on advertising to get a client as I am with a compromised rate. So. I was working up until I hit the milestones and you can actually see what the milestones are here. So I'm top rated, okay? Upwork has a seller system, okay? A levels system essentially is how it works. You go from rising talent, when you first start getting work, you first start getting stuff, they'll start giving you the rising talent badge. And then, you know, you have to have a completed profile, compete your availability, and you go to top rated, and then you have to keep going up top rated plus is the next stage that I'm not even at yet. So that's my next stage of what I need to get to. Um, but this is where you need to get to. You need to work the system like an SEO perspective. You need to take a, you know, bite the bullet a little bit when it comes to what you're actually earning. And then from there, you're able to gradually increase your prices. What I did is I started at 15 or 10 or 15, I can't remember. But then every milestone I hit, so when I hit 2000, I increased my rate to $20 an hour. Okay. And then when I got to 5,000, I increased my rate to 25, 10,000, 30, 20,000, 35. And now I'm at $60 an hour. And I have found that for my service after $60 an hour, I get too expensive for people. So I've dropped it back down. Now I still make really good money at $60 an hour because I have a team delivering a lot of the work for me. And I just track their hours, for example. And a lot of the times too, you'll get on a call with clients and they'll have the hourly rate in mind, but you can then pitch them a project fee instead of a straight hourly fee, right? You can say, hey, listen, this is gonna take me about 60 hours, which, you know, at $60 an hour is roughly, you know, I can't even remember, $1,200, I think is what that is. You can then say, hey, alternatively, or 3,600, alternatively, we can just do this for a project fee of $3,000. And that's a great way to dovetail your retainers, your one-off project fees into the piece of work. And that's worked really well for me. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I really just make these videos for myself to share my knowledge, things that I've learned. And if you want to use the software, I would love it if you use my affiliate link in the description below. I'm trying to give as unbiased an opinion as possible in this video. Note, I am an affiliate, so take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, do your own research. But this service and this platform has worked incredibly well for growing my business. And if you're in a service-based industry, i.e. you are selling a service to other businesses, it's gonna work well for you too. Just make sure you have the long-term game in mind and make sure you 
come into it with the idea of I'm going to start slow and gradually, gradually ramp myself up in terms of the pricing. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.